Um, thank you very much. I'm the ambassador of Azerbaijan to France. I would like to greet, first of all, the speakers and also for you, moderator. Uh, well, I would uh, start by um, touching upon the issue that, moderator, you touched, that you are in France is feared. France is feared about the so-called um, threat to be posed by Azerbaijan against Armenia. Let me stress that this fear is absolutely baseless because what Azerbaijan has done uh, until today is restoring sovereignty over its territories, which is recognized, by the way, by the international community. So, in fact, we have gained what belonged to Azerbaijan by international law. And as Azerbaijan has already declared and redeclared every time that we are interested in peace, we not only declared Azerbaijan was the initiator of the process of normalization with Armenia immediately after the end of the war of 2020. And of course, Azerbaijan is for direct dialogue between Armenia and Azerbaijan. And I would touch also the issue that have been uh, touched upon on the Granada and the position of Azerbaijan. I think the position of uh, President of Azerbaijan have been clearly stated. The day before Granada, France, Foreign Minister, visited uh, Armenia and declared the um, decision to arm, uh, to send armament uh, to Armenia. So was it really the purpose to serve the peace and normalization in the region by deciding arming Armenia, by deciding supporting the revanchist uh, ideology in the country? So of course this was a decision taken against and, and from the other side France uh, was uh, intending to participate there as the mediator. So the country which takes openly public the site of the one country and declares public the public that I'm sending armament to the country then says that I'm the mediator. From the other side, uh, the leaders denied also participation of the uh, president of the Turkey. So this uh, explanation was publicly said by Azerbaijan. And I would also like to reiterate the position of Azerbaijan, which is about normalization, which is about return of the lasting peace to the region. And I would like again to both of the speakers, because I understand the common message here was about the return of the lasting peace to the region because this is what we need. And this is the position of Azerbaijan. And by the way, by the signing of the treaty, the principal position of Azerbaijan is that this treaty should be based on the norms and principles of international law. The respect for the principles of international law, respect to the uh, in, uh, borders, international recognized border, border uh, by the international community, and respect to the sovereignty of all countries in the region. Thank you. Thank you, Ambassador. Do you want to comment, uh, Yes, yes. Yes, uh, um, I heard that message and you heard that message about the un intentions of Azerbaijan. And, uh, and uh, about that, I, I, I assess that positive. But from the other side, uh, I uh, would draw your attention that growing wording of Azerbaijan, calling uh, actually uh, all the, uh, the uh, Republic of Armenia, Western Azerbaijan. It is very concerning message and which is very important that wording, that narrative is being uh, sponsored uh, by the government officially. But uh, there is very simple question. Uh, there is no need for further arguments. If Azerbaijan reconfirm three principles that were agreed with participation of President of Azerbaijan, that means we can move forward. Uh, I, would, uh, I would like to touch upon the uh, uh, issue connected with the uh, France, Armenia, etc. You know, any country, any sovereign country has opportunity to have army and to obtain armament, etc., etc. The Prime Minister, every country has a right to defend itself. Yeah, what I said, I said... Opportunity. Ah, yeah, right. I'm sorry. It, uh, I should have said uh, right. And Azerbaijan also buying, buying a huge amount of weaponry and the budget of the uh, buying armament of Azerbaijan is triple in comparison uh, with Armenia. So, uh, so, but in general, what is uh, the main message? 
the main message that uh, I have already delivered, if Azerbaijan reconfirm three principles that were agreed, so we that's, that means that to have peace treaty during coming months with Azerbaijan, it, it is more than realistic. So let's go forward.